with big AI companies competing for users, many of them are releasing products that are absolutely free. Today, we're going to be looking at Google Anti-Gravity to see whether you can build an entire application without paying anything. Let's jump into it. Okay, so this is Google Anti-Gravity. Now, I'm not exactly an expert on Google Anti-Gravity. I do have to start by saying that. However, I do think that I will be able to build an entire application for free. Now, this is not a paid user. This is my own email address that is not a paid user. So I want to see what we can actually build using Anti-Gravity. Okay, now obviously not everyone has access to my school community, but I am going to be using my school community. I'm just going to slowly scroll through what I'm doing here so that if you want to copy this for free, because this video is supposed to be for free, then you are able to. Okay, so you can now pause the video. You can look through everything that I'm doing here. This is basically how I get to the point where we can actually build something. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do npx create. So let's go terminal, new terminal, and I'm going to do npx create dash convex at latest. Now I'm using convex for a very specific reason. In my opinion, it is one of the best ways to build an app. I'm actually just going to do mkdir and do free video and then cd free video. So mkdir is make directory and cd is change directory. So you can see now I'm inside free dash video, right? So I'm going to do mkx create at latest. And I'm just going to run through Convex's setup here. I'm going to select Next.js and I'm going to select Clerk because, in my opinion, it's the easiest way to actually do things. So I'm just going to select Clerk there. What you will need for this is a Clerk account. Like I said, everything in this video is free, so Clerk is also free. So let's just log into Clerk here. We already have an app set up, but I think what I'll do in this video is I'll just create a new application. So let's just go here at the top and then create application. We'll call this free dash video just so that everyone knows what we're doing here. Uh, I don't think we need any of these other um, logins. So let's just create the application here. Now we're going to be doing everything together here. Don't worry, guys. OK, so you can actually copy this prompt here. OK, and let's just go to notes and then we should be able to just jump here. And yeah, this just gives us the prompt here. This will allow us to set everything up. We can press copy here. I will be deleting this app after this video. So there's literally no point getting my information here. But what you can do is you can press copy and replace these .env variables with your .env variables, right? So that's all I've done so far. So a lot of these things will need to be done. Just say no, just make sure that you do all of them. Okay. Or just copy the prompt, like I said before. Now let's just jump back here and make sure that we're following these steps one by one. Or you can see here it says CD my app or and npm run dev. So let's do that now. CD my app and then npm run dev. Now at this point, just so you know, you will also need a convex account. Again, this is completely free um, unless you want to go into production. Uh, actually, I think it's free anyway, up to 20 different apps. Sorry, my brain froze there. I'm just going to delete one of these apps because I don't actually have access to uh, you only have 20 apps and I already have 20 apps. As you can see, I really, really like convex. So I'm just going to delete one right here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to look for convex LLM.txt here and just see if they do have one. Of course they do. Perfect. So we'll copy this as well and we'll send this to this prompt. And I'll just say if you need information on convex use their llmms.txt in order to find information and then yeah we have pretty much everything we need there so let's just jump back to anti-gravity here and we'll say create a new project we'll call this uh what is it free video or video free whatever i don't remember but it doesn't really matter cloud deployment and then this will basically run everything here there we go Okay, so what this does is it creates a new convex. So if I just uh, instance, so if I just go back to here, you'll see free video right here. There we go. And if you don't know how this works, guys, basically, if I go on data, this is my database. If I go on functions, all these are, are my code, my functions, right? So if you don't know, instead of building a backend, 
what we're actually going to be doing is using something called edge functions or in this case they're just called functions and all this does is means that you don't have to have a back end you just need a front end which is your static Next.js website, which we've already created. If I open this, for example, this is the website. Right? And you'll see it has Clerk already installed. If I go and sign in, this probably won't work because I need to change a few things around and I haven't actually set my .m variables as of yet. So this probably won't work. We'll just see. Yeah, it didn't work. The reason it didn't work, like I said, is because we haven't actually set everything up yet. So we'll just go back to our notes here and we'll just go back to anti-gravity and we'll just say, can you set up clerk on this project so I can log in, um, follow the steps below, right? And then we'll just, for now, we'll just ignore this bit about convex. We'll just delete this and we'll just get this set up very, very quickly. Now this is going to use Gemini 3 Pro. Like I said, this is a completely free anti-gravity account so as of today you are able to code for free using one of the most powerful models in the entire world okay no that's uh, true i forgot to actually open the folder so let's open the folder here open free video this is an essential step yes i trust the authors that's my bad google anti-gravity thank you for reminding me and then we're just going to paste the same thing that we just pasted here but yeah, we have to be inside the project, otherwise it has no idea what the hell is going on. So there we go, we'll send this again, and then we'll wait. Okay, so you can see it starts to read everything here. It starts to understand everything. Everything should be fairly standard for um, Gemini 3, right? It shouldn't have any issues setting this up. So while this is running, let's just open up a free version of ChatGPT, because again, we're doing everything for free today. So we'll just go to a private window, we'll open ChatGPT, and I'm just going to brainstorm a couple of ideas. So I want to make a convex plus Next.js application with AI built into it. Can you give me some ideas for an app? So yeah, obviously, as usual, the first option is a task manager. I think this is just the option no matter what. Smart recommendation system for e-commerce, AI powered personal health system. These are all pretty complex, to be honest with you, except the first one. AI powered social media post generator. Now that is a good idea that we can almost definitely achieve with the tools we have available. Now, most likely I would use Open Router for this. Uh, that is the only thing that will not be free. Obviously, you have to pay for usage. That's just the way it is, right? There is no real way to get free AI usage but you don't have to even make an AI application. I'm just gonna make an AI application today because that's the whole point of this video. You do not have to make an AI application. You can build whatever you want, right? So you could just get rid of the AI here and just do like a task manager. Obviously it's a little bit boring just doing a task manager, but yeah, as it, you know, it is what it is, just build whatever you guys want. I'm just gonna do a social media post generator because I think it's quite an easy one and I know in my head most of the steps needed so i'm just going to say can you give me the uh give me everything that would be needed to create a and then post this great choice high level workflow so user profiles perfect content generation mm -hmm. beautiful so we could use a model a multi-modal model right which if you don't know basically on open router there are tons of um, multimodal models, one of them being, of course, Gemini 3 Pro Preview, which I think, anyway, actually, this might not be multimodal. Um, but yeah, basically, we could get a model that could do text and um, images, right? So let's do Gemini 3 Pro. No, no, yeah, it's this one. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, if I just say hi to this app, okay, I'm not on Open Router. Okay, if I just say hi to this app, I believe it should just answer me in text and not in images, but I might actually be wrong. Okay, so yeah, this is multimodal, right? It can do text and images, which means it's a perfect model for what we are trying to achieve in today's video. Okay, so, so far we have absolutely nothing to show for ourselves. It's not doing anything. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try the agent manager instead because you know I don't have all fucking day, basically. So let's try this here. Let's go to free video here. 
and let's see if we can get this to actually work. Please configure work for my Next.js application. Okay, and then we'll send this. Now, hopefully this is actually going to work. I didn't get anything from the normal code editor. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, I think I can now close this and it will just continue. Oh, it did actually do something finally. It's extremely slow though, guys. I won't lie to you. I'm not here to lie. I'm here to actually test things. And yeah, it's extremely slow. Extremely, extremely slow. Let's see if this one's doing it. This one looks a little bit better. So we'll just let that run. So it can't access my .m.local apparently, which is weird. I thought it would be able to, but that's fine. It happens. Hasn't actually made any changes yet though, as far as I can see. It's still just, um, yeah. It's still just analyzing things. Doesn't take this long. I'm not a developer, guys. I probably could have just done this faster myself. <laughs> which is kind of funny when you think about it. Like at this point, we may as well just develop ourselves, literally. Oh, I just closed everything. No, I didn't. Oh, do we have our first change coming in? Maybe it says generating. Come on, you can do it. Make a change. Come on. Make a change for free in my app and then this video is fine. Just make a change, any change. I don't care what change. Editing, oh my God, it edited it. Okay, so I'm gonna actually stop the agent manager just because there's no point having two going at once. I'm probably gonna use it my limit too quickly. So we actually managed to get an edit. It did work. Okay, good. I can safely say from the fact that this actually worked up to this point that you could build an app for free using anti-gravity. It will take you forever, right? It will take you an extremely long time, just so that you all know. But it does look like it is genuinely possible to build something. Now, I might have to edit my .env.local myself. Uh, that's fine. I don't mind that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab these variables here because it says that it can't edit them. So I'll just put those variables right here. That's easy. Okay, so now run npm run build. Not sure why. As far as I know, it hasn't done everything it needs to. If I'm not mistaken, there are some things that need to be edited or commented out or uncommented. But I mean, I guess, sure, if it thinks it's done. Okay, guys, so it's now claiming to be done. I already know that this isn't done. It, it's it's incorrect. I know that for a fact. So let's just see here. It says, I've integrated Clerk into your Next.js uh, app router, blah, blah, blah. So it's done this. It's done this. It ran build. I added these M variables. I ran npm run dev, just like it said. Visit local host, sign in, sign up. Right. So we should all agree that according to anti-gravity this should now work right and if it doesn't i'm probably just going to end the video because i'm not going to waste people's time let's see it didn't work now i know exactly why this didn't work okay it's a real real shame to be honest with you um i'm just going to try one more thing and see if we can fix this the reason it didn't work is because of this right here i believe you're supposed to uncomment this out and fix all of this stuff it just hasn't done this right Guys, I really had high hopes for this video, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm here to test things and tell you guys if they're worth your time. Anti-gravity is not worth your time as of today, right? I think the final thing I'll do just to make sure is I will try with the agent manager. And then hopefully we can fix this. Oh, the agent manager is actually the same as uh, the other thing. This is super disappointing, guys. Any basic model, even if like Z.ai model could probably do this. So I don't know what they're doing, honestly. They just release things. They build a load of hype for it. They get people to come into my stream and ask me if it's any good. This is the result, guys. It just doesn't work, right? It's super disappointing. I'm getting errors now already. I've only been using it for 10 minutes. It's not worth your time, guys. Until they make this a pay tool that uses your Gemini Ultra subscription and is super fast. For me, this is just completely pointless to use. I'm angry, you might hear that in my voice. I'm genuinely angry about this. I think this has huge potential, but Google just has a habit of releasing things 
that are subpar, building a load of hype for it, and then ditching them, basically. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. I'm super disappointed. I don't know if you're even going to see this video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, because I had such high hopes for this, and it just doesn't work. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.